there's going to be a diamond under the tree uh, this Christmas, or maybe you're going to pop the question, or it'll be popped at you. Uh, you'd be interested in diamonds. Uh, two interesting women joining us right now. Uh, first, we have uh, Anamika Anderson, who is with uh, Mia Donna and Company. You guys make diamonds. Fascinating. And uh, with her is uh, Kalia Ali, the daughter of the champ. We lost Muhammad Ali in June of this year. Uh, we are sorry for your loss. We're grateful for the legacy. And good morning, ladies. Thank How you, are Paul. you? You bet. Ladies, so good let's, morning. let's get talking about these uh, synthetic diamonds. And I do want to underscore here, they are synthetic, but they have become practically indistinguishable from natural diamonds. Safe to say? Well, we actually call them lab-grown diamonds because they are diamonds. We're just mimicking the natural growing process of a diamond in a modern-day lab environment. These are chemically, physically, and optically identical to earth mine diamonds, and that's actually according to the gemological, in uh, sorry, the FTC. Even the Gemological Institute states that lab-grown diamonds are indistinguishable from earth mine diamonds even under a microscope. So these are diamonds. And this actually is a, a breakthrough, a technological breakthrough. We've just created the largest lab-grown diamond in the USA. It's 6.28 carats. We want a close-up. Yes, Come it's, on. It's we, magnificent. We... <laughs> Can you get a close-up there? It's so, blinding us. So this is a breakthrough. <laughs> but they are optically, chemically, physically identical. It's kind of like getting ice from your freezer versus getting it from a glacier. Hmm. But the wow. best part is they're up to 40% less than earth mine diamonds and they're free of any humanitarian or environmental concerns. Yeah, you know, let, let's talk about that. You use the term earth mind, uh, Anamika, and that, that's an easy segue mm -hmm. to you, Kalia. I know you have a, have a concern about, uh, and all of us should, about the way diamonds are currently mined in some places of the world, and, and the term blood diamonds refers to um, the sacrifice people make to get them, the sometimes nefarious purposes where the money goes. To. Talk to us about that, if you would. It was 42 years ago now since my father traveled to the to then Zaire, now the Congo, and about since seven years that I was there. And like Anamika, I've witnessed these things firsthand. The experience is just opaque. You know, I do believe in the goodness of people, and if people saw what we saw, I do believe they might consider this new option. You know, four million lives lost. As my father's child and all of us as his children, we feel so blessed to have the opportunity to come out and support organizations. I had many requests and without a question for me, it was greener diamond. Certainly. Because 5% of every sale of our lab growing diamonds go back to our charity foundation. So we can actually go back into these diamond mining communities and positively re reinvest in the children so they can live a life free of poverty. So Mia Donna produces ethical uh, lab created diamonds and then we fund agricultural projects in diamond mining communities. And ladies, quickly before we let you go, now obviously millions of consumers right now, it's the holidays, they're looking at rings, looking for diamonds. Uh, how do you get them to consider these eco-friendly, uh, affordable lab-grown diamonds? Well, millennials are loving lab-grown diamonds, not only because of the price break, but because they really appreciate the technology it takes to make a diamond, and they're really after a diamond that didn't hurt the environment or native communities. I mean, rough diamond prices are up 75% since 2009. So it's it's a significant investment. So millennials are loving lab-grown diamonds. All right, uh, and we I are... started as a customer, and I'm happy. Oh, oh there oh, you go. Well, and you know, cool. it seems to me, ladies, it is a win-win because, mm -hmm. you know, it's a... It's a uh, it is a uh, earth-friendly and people-friendly way to get one, and you end up with a diamond. So uh, it's, <laughs> it's very nice. Uh, ladies, thank you very much for your time this morning. Interesting topic, isn't it? And, yeah. and you know, we, we could have talked a lot more about the grim side oh, sir, uh, yes. of the mining of diamonds. Well, but this. Moral of the story, you said you end up with a diamond. There you go.